The following sermon by Bible teacher John MacArthur is brought to you by Grace to You and its faithful supporters. For more information about John's ministry, visit gty.org. I just want to make a couple of comments to you about the incident that happened in uh, Newtown, Connecticut, the uh, killing of 20 children and a number of adults. There is obviously a need in our country for people to get some kind of a perspective on on what is going on there. And as I listen to the media and kind of uh, watch them endeavoring to deal with it, I just think it's important for us to be able to answer the questions when they come to us about why things like this happen. And uh, I just want to give you some things to think about. But first of all, to understand that to a very severe degree, this is a young man whose life was given over to Satan. Satan is a murderer from the beginning. He is the ultimate killer who, in effect, brought a temptation to Eve that killed the entire human race. Uh, so he is an agent of Satan in every sense. Uh, you, we also know from the New Testament that God has turned over to Satan the power of death, but only within the limits with which God will allow him to operate. So yes, this is a very satanic act. At the same time, as it says in Genesis 50 and verse 20, he meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. The good in this is that every one of those little children entered into the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ in eternal heaven. The message is that He gathers the little ones into His arms, of such is the kingdom of heaven. God gathered them to Himself, and there can be a reunion with them for anyone who puts his trust and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In order to help uh, people in that town deal with that, we have two of the graduates of the Master Seminary pastoring a church in Newtown, Connecticut. Joey Newton and Parker Reardon are there on the ground, and since this thing first happened, they have been at the firehouse offering counsel to the families and the people who are there. And to help and assist them in the process, Jesse Johnson and the folks at Emmanuel Bible Church down in Washington, D.C. arrived last night with about a hundred copies of the book, Safe in the Arms of God. And this is very important for them because this gives them the biblical understanding of what happens to children who die. I'm just so thrilled for Jesse's willingness and the folks there to get that to them as fast as they could. I guess four people from the church actually took them up there to distribute to the parents who are, who are grieving so they can understand where their children are. And that's the message of hope in the middle of all of this. The other message is this. And this was the same message that I gave when I was interviewed after 9-11. Everybody's going to die and you don't know when. You better be prepared. The message to all is that you're not in charge of when your death is going to come necessarily and you need to be ready for that by putting your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody's going to die. No one died that wasn't going to die. Everyone faces that and being ready for that is the issue and the only salvation is in Jesus Christ. One other comment, this nation is aggressively killing unborn infants in the millions and doesn't feel any remorse, apparently, all the way up to the highest levels. And yet there is this outrage about the massacre of six- and seven-year-olds and complete indifference to the massacre of unborn infants. And they keep saying a school is supposed to be a safe place, a school is supposed to be a safe place. Yeah, well, so is a womb supposed to be a safe place. And that kind of duplicity and that kind of hypocrisy needs to be confronted. It really does. So having said all of that, just to give you some perspective, it is a, a horror and I'm grateful that we have some young men there who are prepared to give biblical answers to folks who are really desperately in need of those answers. A number of years ago I did a message on why there is evil in the world. If you want to download that, it will give you a larger perspective. The answer, of course, is that the hope of anyone is in Christ, but the little ones the Lord takes care of. I can only hope that somehow the gospel gets out in all the talk of sympathy because it is the only thing that will give parents hope. You've been listening to Bible teacher John MacArthur, founder and featured teacher with Grace to You. John MacArthur and Grace to You reserve all copyright protections under applicable law. Our copyright policy is available at our website, gty.org, and includes instructions and limitations on duplicating this digital file. 
Again, the website is gty.org.